good morning so it is Saturday and it's puffy cold bro I'm heading to work I'm only working till noon but I always hate working Saturdays because I feel like by the time I get into the city all the parking spots are taken so I gotta get gas I have enough to get into the city, but I always feel like if I go into the city and my um, gas isn't full, I'm always like, oh my God, what if I have traffic and then I'm on the side of the road because I got no gas? Like, my husband's always like, you can go and come back with that. And I'm like, mm -hmm. even if it's one little, um, one little palito, you know, one little um, quarter stick, whatever, from the full. I'm always like. So my husband is home today. He's sick again. Let me tell you. We were so worried about the Rona. You need to worry about this flu because that is knocking people down we had gotten it around thanksgiving and i feel like he got it and my son got it and i got it but i feel like i didn't get it so bad he didn't really get it so bad but i feel like now it knocked him out so he was supposed to work today and he called out and um it's bad you know I gave him the heated blanket yesterday that I picked up from Target. I showed you guys. And I was like, he's going to be like, why you bought this? But he was like, oh, I needed this. Oh, I can feel it so warm. Um, he had it on all night. Well, all afternoon. And then he put the heater on last night again. So <clears throat> I felt kind of like open the door trying to get me sick and he was coughing so much all night um I got up at one in the morning and um gave him Robitussin and I got the Robitussin that was a little different it's got honey in it and whatever but the bottle looks like old school and it was in like that, you know, when you go to like Rite Aid or CVS, that little Spanish section there. And um, I was like, hmm, but it really works. And um, I gave it to him. And then before I left, I got him up because I could hear him coughing. And it's one of those things where it's just like a, uh, like a dry cough. It's not like if you say, you know, oh, it's phlegm and just, you know, no, it's like a dry cough. And then he's been sucking on those honey holes. And I gave him Theraflu last night. And I don't know, that cough, he, we were watching something and he started laughing and he started coughing and coughing and coughing. And I was like, you to control that? He was like, it's fucking cold, man. It's fucking cold. And I was like, okay. But I didn't really sleep well. But I could hear him coughing and coughing and coughing and coughing. And <clears throat> it was one of those coughs where you can't, like, inhale. Like, you're just like, <clears throat> you know? So I'm really considering um, wearing my mask again. And this might be vain, but I just hate messing up my makeup. I hate to see the line on my face, you know. But that, but I guess that's better than getting sick and having all that dryness from wiping your nose, right? So I gotta, I gotta figure out where I put, cause I have bought a box from Amazon of masks that are in different colors, so it goes with my outfit of the day. Um, and I have a few on the hook, on the seat, different colors for like 
days where I go places that I'm a little bit like, mm. you know, some days I'll be getting out of my car at Walmart and I hear, rah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, let me get a mask. Or, you know, you get in the supermarket and you hear the people and you're just like, mm, let me put this on. But I'm a, I think I'm, a, I think I'm, blah, blah. I really think that I'm going to um, start wearing my mask again because this is getting bad. And a lot of the customers that come in are coughing and they're like, it's just this tickle in my throat. And I'm like, mm. last night we tested him for the Rona again. Thank God it was negative. But this flu and you know, that stuff is like, um, you get it. You give it to this person, you give it to that person, and no. Uh, like, eventually he'll pass it to me, and then, of course. Every time I go get gas, I'm on the wrong side. Like, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? I'm going to back up and watch somebody take my pump. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Yep, there it is. There it is. Now, I don't know if I fit there because I need gas too. So, let's see. Look. Let me see. Okay. Of course, this guy in front of me, okay? Just got gas. So, like I said, as soon as I back out, this big truck got me in front of me. And I got really close to him and he was like, you can't be in the middle of two pumps, buddy. So, I hope this day goes fast. Like, I'm ready to get into the city and go see my dad. See my sister. I feel like the last couple of videos I've been on a rant and I know the holidays are coming and I shouldn't be that way but some people are just getting crazier and crazier as we get closer to the holidays you know the way they're driving the way they're I don't know but I guess everyone is in like a kind of a mood. So, my apologies because I don't want these to be just rants. <coughs> and don't forget that I'm having a giveaway on my channel. I keep forgetting to mention that. It's running until New Year's. So, if you're new here and you made it this far, please consider hitting 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 that subscribe button the little bell so you're notified when my next videos come out which is i'm trying to do daily my vlogs but i'm kind of doubling up the last couple of days so yes yeah, don't forget so i got to my dad's and i couldn't find parking so i'm parked at the meter downstairs so i had to go down in a few minutes and feed it again until seven and it's 6 50 for two hours so two, four, six, six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, nine, twenty bucks. But there's like no parking. And then they got these city bikes that are taking up spots and and then I'm gonna feed it. I'm gonna feed the meter and then I'm gonna go to the supermarket and see what we find for tomorrow to cook. I'm having white pizza and a corona if there's one thing i love is new york city pizza up in connecticut that pizza is like spongy and shit mm -mm. Mm -mm. I 
Turn it to his opener. Oh no, this is what? This is the tequila. Key. Yeah. You can't know. I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to mess with it. You finished the patrol? Yeah. It's What's that open. one? Oh, okay. That's why. It's What's tequila that? silver. Gaga. Gaga. Mm. Coconut pineapple. Mm. Coconut pineapple margarita mix. I'll make some features with this. Oh, it's having to So I made these coquito for my sister. She's going to sell them at work to her co-workers. But we found this one. And let me tell you, this is this, this close to making your own. If you guys make coquito, you already know your ingredients. If you taste that, you'd be like, no, this is a joke. Somebody put my coquito in this bottle and you're trying to tell me. That is how close to delicious that that is. Now, I made these and I put them in these bottles. And I have my own ingredients. But this one, this is called Bacaldi Limited Edition Coquito Coconut Cream Liqueur Puerto Rican Rum listen run to the liquor store try it out and you tell me whether it's that close or not because <sighs> i just can't i tasted it and i was like no no so she poured it for me and i tasted it and i was like this is mine and she was like she turned it around and i was like because i've never seen them in the liquor store let me just tell you, <clears throat> if you don't want to be spending money buying it from people or they giving you the runaround, just grab that bottle. It's that, listen, this close to what you make at home. I couldn't believe it. Like, I'm still in shock. And that's how we're ending Vlogmas Day 17.